Hey guys, we're here with uh, Savannah's dad, David, and Savannah, and Dave, and Sarah. Kayla and Brandon are, Brandon worked all the way through the night for it, uh, in the afternoon to four in the morning, then hopped in the car and, and, and came up here. So they're, they're sleeping in a little bit this morning. Um, but we got a bunch of folks here, a bunch of stuff here right here, and uh, there's a Forks of Ivy Baptist Church. We just want to come to you guys and let you guys know. Uh, thank you for all the donations. Folks here getting what they need, and we've got some stuff to the school already. We've got some stuff going to a shelter, Santa Sister. So uh, lots of cool, exciting things happening this morning, and uh, we just want to give you guys an update. Anybody else got the same thing? Yeah, um, thank you guys so much. Uh, Mars Hill Elementary is putting together packs for their students that uh, they normally are able to send home food to, and they're able to use some of the supplies that you sent to send home food to those students that even normally struggle to have that. Um, the, the baby bottles and formula and diapers and cleaning supplies, people are so excited to see because the other distribution centers don't have them. So thank you so much. Oh, sorry. And um, <laughs> we had no idea how, um, how sparse things were everywhere on the way here. It's been so difficult for people to go even to South Carolina or Tennessee to get supplies. We were in Spartanburg last night and the Walmart shelves were empty. Which is like 80 miles away. 80 miles yeah, away. Yeah, we tried to, we drove straight through because we couldn't find a hotel. We are about 130 miles away. There were no hotel rooms available either. So we just drove straight through the night last night. But The uh, Mana Food Bank in Asheville that typically supplies our food pantry here at the church, they were washed away and unable to give us our normal delivery that should have happened Monday of this week. Uh, they do have... Uh, temporary setup with trucks coming in to Asheville at the farmers market, uh, but they're not able to deliver that food out to us. So this has been great, guys. Thank you so much. And we have one more update. We have a couple of towns that are still caught off. They don't have a road uh, that we can get into in any of the vehicles we have. But my dad has a truck um, with mudding tires that we're going to be able to take our uh, our distribution of bottled water to to really help out those communities. So thank you so much for everything. Yeah, thank you guys again. Like I said, it's been uh, again. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit, and show you guys some of what, some of what's, you know, kind of what it is. I'm gonna see Dave. You wanna walk with me? I'm using Dave's hotspot because Verizon doesn't have any service. AT&T does though. So I'm gonna try to walk with Dave maybe down to the river so you guys can kind of see um, and kind of explain just, just kind of what it looks like. I talked with Savannah's dad this morning, and he said um, the most, the closest thing he could compare it to to us in Florida would be something like. 200 tornadoes at one time just touched down and you know how we get those down there where there's complete devastation for the, the the area around where that tornado would touch down but then 15 feet outside of the path of it would be the house unscathed it's perfectly normal so i'm gonna walk down the other day the, the, um and that's kind of what it's like all over just in sparks so we're kind of right at a fork where, where, where two rivers kind of come together and uh i'm gonna walk kind of down so you guys can see um, just kind of how, how bad the devastation is locally right here, just right where we're at. <clears throat> so this was, you can kind of see the rivers way down there. That's kind of normal height. The water was up about, I would say, over four over oh, about four foot up that Forks of Ivy Road. I, I seen a video, one of the locals showed me, the water was right at the top of that Forks of Ivy sign. You guys see that street sign that's right there. It was that's how high the water was, and again, it's way down here. I'm gonna walk all the way down here, and kind of show you some of just out of the out of the sun, so you guys can kind of get an idea of just how how crazy it is. So again, this the water was up over this bridge. Again, we're 15, 16 feet away, um, and this is just from what we're told. This area is not anywhere near as bad as some of the other areas. Um, that that were hit so again i just want to give you guys an update let you guys know this is kind of what's going on yeah this is what's left of a house dave is saying uh, dave, uh savannah's dad was saying kind of washed down here and there's there's squash and kids clothes and a bed so there's a it, it's pretty incredible um and again it's just one local spot um that is not that bad from what we're being told so again thank you guys so much uh, we'll try to do our best throughout the day. Um, we're going to be hopping in trucks and taking water to some of those communities, get as close as we can, offload into to Savannah's dad's truck, and then try to drive those up into those areas that you really can't get with a normal vehicle. So 
Uh, we appreciate you guys so, so much. Uh, we, we, we thank you for all your prayers. We had great travels last night. We weren't able to find somewhere to stay out and then come in this morning, so we drove all the way. We got about 1.30 last night um, up here. where We were able to drive straight through. Uh, thank you guys again for the prayers. It was a, a, a good trip. We had no issues. Um, and, uh, yeah, we just continue prayers for the folks that are here um, and continue prayers for us as we continue to minister to these folks and, and just love on them. Um, and you guys, subsequent, uh, you know, providing all this stuff, it's, it's overwhelming to some of them. Uh, some of them have lost everything. Um, so we thank you guys so much, and thank you. Just continue prayers. See you.